Hello and welcome to the workshop. On today's episode, we're gonna do a little experiment using ice. So I got inspiration for this project after watching someone pour molten aluminium inside an abandoned ant colony. And once it had set, they dug all around it and pulled out this amazing sculpture. Now the sculpture was an exact copy of their nest. Now I'm hoping to do something similar, but I'll be using ice and hot resin. Now I plan on getting a massive bag of ice, mixing up a whole heap of resin, pouring it in, and then hoping that once all the ice melts, I'll be left with my own resin sculpture. Now time is gonna be very critical in this project, because as you can see, in the short amount of time that I've been talking, this ice has already started to melt. So I'll be getting Nicole to give me a hand, and if you've seen the vlogs earlier on this week, you would have seen that we've already gone and grabbed the ice. So I'm going to go get it out of the freezer now so we can get started. So here's my bag of ice. Now after looking at it, it's quite compact. So I'm going to have to break it up to give ourselves some galleries. But before I do that, I want to start mixing up the resin. That way it has a chance to heat up. Now the resin I'm going to use for this experiment is called Artcast. Now I think just in case this actually does work, we should add some colour into this resin. Oh, good idea. Two for you. Thank you. Yours is a little darker than mine. It's like two different sections of the ocean. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> that's cool. Okay, we're going to sit these to one side now so they can heat up a little bit. And now, oh, back to our ice. Now, we need to break this up, but I don't want to split the bag. So yeah. I think maybe we get a towel. We'll put a towel over it and we'll try and bash it a little bit. I mean, it's already starting to break up a little bit, but I think we need a bit more. Okay. Not too bad. A few loose pieces in there. Give this side a bit of a hit. Well, I think that's looking pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, that looks good. Feels good. Okay. So I think the plan's gonna be to cut ourselves a hole in the top here. We'll stand it up, we'll pour the resin in, we'll take the hole back up, and then we're just gonna kind of move it all around and that's a good idea almost like mixing it yeah, through the ice that's right okay yeah. let's do that then let's start cutting our hole before you do that yeah do you think that um we should put a silicon mat down just in case it does leak through the bag uh looking at that hole right there <laughs> oh, no, you got a hole i think it's a good idea yeah okay. do you want to grab a silicon mat i will Okay, let's stand this up and get a hole cut. Now I don't want too big of a hole, so just enough to get the resin poured in. Oh, scissors are sharp. <laughs> we always have that problem with scissors. I know, it's because we cut sandpaper with it. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Hopefully. I'm a bit nervous about this one. How hot's the resin? Oh, it is getting a bit warm. Getting warm. Yeah, it is getting warm. Maybe we should wait another couple of minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting warm. All right, let's just wait a couple of minutes and then we'll pour it in. Okay, I think we're ready. Is this going to work? <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, let's get this hole opened up. And I guess oh, we just... It wants to close again. I guess we just keep an eye out for leaks and have the tape ready I guess yeah okay let's do it well at first I thought 800 mils wasn't gonna be enough yeah and now I kind of feel like it could be too much oh really yeah I don't know I just hope there's no leaks in this bag okay that's one in and as you, you want to mix see, it around 
No, I reckon no? We just, let's just do the next one. Okay. Okay, let's cut. Oh, careful, you're going to spill it. Oh, no. Really didn't want to do that. Spilt a bit. Oh no, yeah, oh, a no. bit on this side as well. And now, do you want to grab the sticky tape? sticky tape? Okay, go for it. Now, I think just go crazy on that now. Okay. You reckon, do you need some more or do you reckon that'll be right nah, for now? I think that looks pretty good. I think we start uh, sloshing it all around. Do you know think? from looking at it down the bottom, it looks like a slushy. Looks like a slushy. It looks like a slushy. <laughs> Let me see if you guys can see that. Down here, it's looking like a slushy. It is. Okay. It doesn't look like we've got any leaks yet. No, it's looking promising. That is looking promising. Now I'm assuming that because the resin has mixed with the ice, it's going to slow down the process now. Because normally this resin would cure in about probably 45 yeah, to 45, 50, yeah. especially in this heat because it's quite hot today. We are 30 degrees in the workshop today. I mean, our sculpture might only be this big, which I think will still be okay. Yeah, that's fine. As long as it's kind of got that gallery look. Yeah. Well, at the moment, the only thing that's leaking is a bit of water. A bit of water, yeah. yeah I can't see any resin coming out. And I, and I think that's even just condensation off the bag. Oh, too. the outside of the bag. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I, I think it's doing okay around, around this section here. I think it might be all right. What do you think? Should we mix up some more? Or You know what? It actually wouldn't hurt. Is that big enough? Uh, it should be. Although I thought the last hole was big enough too. <laughs> Do you want me to pour this yeah, one? Yeah, you have a go. Okay. How's that concentration to get it in? Yeah, you got to make sure you get it all in the hole. So what's this now? 1.6 litres. Yeah, it's a lot of That's resin. a fair bit. And it should heat up a lot, and it, but I reckon this ice is definitely going to bring it down. Oh, for sure. All right. You did a lot better job than me. Grab the tape. Okay, go on. Now we've got a big blue slushy down the bottom. <laughs> wow, that feels funny. All right. So I think we've got to get this back up to yeah. the top. I guess worst case, if it is stuck to this bag, I could put it on the lathe maybe. Oh yeah. Do you think? Or maybe we could just um, get like an orbital sander and we'll just sand off. Oh, sand off the plastic. Yeah, we'll just sand off the plastic. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. Well, let's just hope it comes off first. Yeah. Because that would definitely be best case. But the ice definitely hasn't melted as quick as I thought it would. No, definitely. Like, there are still massive chunks of ice in here. Well, you've only got a little puddle of water there. Yeah, at least it is just water. Oh, well. It's just... <laughs> it is what it is right now. It's a wait and see game, isn't it? And I guess that's why we call them experiments. Yeah. So, all right. We'll check back in a few minutes. So it's been a few minutes and as you can see all the resin's gone to the bottom so I think it's time for a flip. Yeah, you can see it moving down again. Yeah. All right, so it looks like we're just going to have to keep doing that until we feel the resin has gotten to a point where it's not going to move anymore, yeah, I guess. Yeah. So I've been turning this bag for a while now and we're kind of feeling like this resin isn't going to set anytime soon because no. it, it's just so cold in there and I'm now worried that all my ice is going to melt and I'm just going to have a pool of water on one side yeah. and, a, and a block of resin on the other so we've decided that we're going to go put this in the freezer yep. which should stop the ice from melting now that will definitely slow down the resin from curing but I'm hoping it will leave us with a bit better sculpture yeah, because you can always go back and forth to the freezer and turn and it. Turn it. Yep. Okay. 
All right, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go pop this in the freezer. I'm gonna turn it probably every five or 10 minutes. And then once I feel it's done, we'll check back in on it. Okay. While we're waiting for that resin to cure, I wanted to tell you guys about our annual Easter sale. It's our biggest sale of the year. And over the next seven days, there'll be a massive 15% off everything in the Etsy store. So if you guys have been waiting to get yourself something, now's the time. Also, every order placed in the next seven days will get a free gift. We've got some skulls, a Rubik's ball, a dichroic ball. We've got some trinkets, some books. Got some little jewelry trays that I've made. We've got donuts, keychains, and we've even got a couple of items that we bought in PNG. Now, in addition to randomly adding these pieces into everyone's order, we're also going to sign each one. So if you guys are interested in this sale, I'll leave a link in the description. Now let's get back to the freezer. So this has now been in the freezer for five days and I've been checking on it every day and it's slowly getting harder and harder. And I now feel like, Molly, what do you think? Do you think it's ready? I now feel like it's hard enough and it's time to pull it out. So what do you think about this? This is one solid piece. <laughs> it's hard as a rock, hey? It is. Now, the question is, we need to go put this out in the sun so that all the ice will melt, but do we take the plastic wrap off first or do we let it melt inside the bag? Mm. I'd probably take the plastic off. It might be a bit easier to take it off now. Yeah, could be, hey? Yeah. And then I guess the time lapse would look better because I'm going to go put it out in the sun, set up a time lapse of it. Oh, yeah. Watch all the ice melt. Yep. And hopefully it works. Yeah, with the wrapper on, you may not see too much. I, I am a little bit worried there. There are a few soft spots. Yeah, there's one on the corner here. Now, I wonder if that is just a mixture of resin and water that's, Poss that's caused possibly. it. Possibly, yeah. But like I say, it's been in the freezer for five days and... If the resin is not going to cure by now, it's definitely not going to cure any more being in the freezer. No. Uh, it may cure once the ice is melted, but right now, I think this is as good as we're going to get it. Yep. So I think we'll try and get this plastic off, get it in the sun, and then see what we're left with. Good idea. Let's give it a, give it a cut. Ooh. Yeah, it's very sticky. It is. Well, we definitely have a lot of uncured resin there. And it's very sticky. All right, let's go put this in the sun and watch it melt. Not a good idea. I know I said we were going to put this out in the sun, but I didn't realise it was about to rain. I don't think it's still going to work. That's a bit better. Now the sun's out, this process should go a lot faster. I'm not too sure about this one. What do you guys think? Look at all the resin that's come off the bottom here. And it looks like it's floating on top of the water. Might be a bad sign. I guess time will tell. Well, 
What a disappointment. I know, I did not think that was going to happen. All the ice melted and the resin has just gone completely flat. Apart from this bit in the middle here which still has a couple of pieces of ice in it. Wow. Disappointing. Highly disappointing. I honestly thought it was going to work. Yeah, so did I. Okay, now this resin is still pliable as you can see. And we have come up with an idea to try and mold this into something to at least make it usable. Yeah, salvage something. Salvage something, that's right. So we're going to get some containers, we're going to peel it off this mat, and we're going to drape it over it and see if we can make something. Anything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know <laughs> what we're going to make, but that's going to be our next step. Okay, so this is what we've come up with. We've got two containers. We're going to put one on top of each other. We're going to lift this up, lay it over the top, and see what happens. So you want to take them. Yep, you've got the gloves on. Yep, now we want to keep this mat down because I have a feeling it's just going to fall off that, but we're going to peel it off here. Some bits are good. Like that's, that's set. Like that's not sticking to me at all. Like we could probably mold this into anything we want right now. Yeah, the middle's not working too well, is it? Oh. <laughs> it's just a big mess. Alright, we're just getting it off. Oh, I'm getting stuck. A piece of ice just fell out. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we said we wanted to make a sculpture, didn't we? Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. This is going to have a sculpture with your gloves stuck in it in a minute. Oh, I can't get it off. <laughs> well, at least you're giving the viewers a laugh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, far out. Do you still want to keep the mat there? Um, I think we should. Yeah. Okay. Where do, we, do you want to sit it, like, to the side? <laughs> no, just put it in the middle. Put it in the middle? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's go. Hang on. Oh, it's Is this going to be like pizza dough? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is bad. It's terrible. I feel like Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep. We just going to let it do its just thing. Just spread it out a bit and see what happens, hey? I guess that's why they call it experiments, though. Experiment? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I just quoted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe just try and get your hands out of it. Um. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. Um, I reckon just leave it, see what happens to it. It was an experiment at the end of the day. Yeah, I know. I, I still wanted to make it, like... I feel like we should have put it on the little one. You want to move it? Oh, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're getting it off here now. No. Oh, damn. I should Why did you stick your <laughs> hand on it again? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think you should leave it. All right. Um... We're just going to leave this now. Hopefully it sets. If it does, we're going to have a cool project to stick to the wall of the workshop. So it's now the next day and I felt the need that I had to cover this up so I could give you guys a grand reveal. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Look at this! At least it's a hard mess now. And it's hard as a rock. Yeah. So it's been what? About 16 hours since that last clip? And it's gone hard. So it just goes to prove that the ice was definitely stopping it from, from, from curing. Yeah. Which also means that every time I see a comment where someone says cure it 
in the freezer or cure it with ice to doesn't slow it down. Doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't look like it works. I mean, it might have eventually cured over, say, a month. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, but yeah, in the freezer, definitely didn't cure. But like I say, half a day out of it, and we're hard as a rock. So I guess now the next task will be getting it off this container and then trying to figure out what the hell we're going to do with it. Yeah. All right, let's try and get it off. Some progress. Yeah, you got rid of that suction, that's why. Got my hand under there. Oh, yes! Oh, good job. We got it. We didn't break it too much. <laughs> I don't think it's usable though. Bit of sticky tape, good as gold. Alright, let's flip it over. What do you guys think? <laughs> I don't think we're winning any prizes in the drum? art competition. Did we make a drum? I'm not a drummer. No. Um, it's a cool sculpture, I guess. It's it's different. It's different. It's different. It's definitely different. I wish the top was more flat because when I saw it dripping last night. I did kind of think it would make a cool cake stand. Oh, okay. But being seeing that it's like all lumpy on top here, I don't think you'd be able to sit a cake yeah, on there. No. Um, you know what? Maybe a big a big light underneath here. Oh, that's a cool idea. Like a really bright light. You know, it could be a cool like uh, ambient lampshade. Oh yeah. Maybe I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, let us know. What would you do with it? And it is, it is hard, which is good. Yep. Um, I guess you could have it that way, or you could oh, flip it. I won't flip it. <laughs> you could <laughs> probably break something. I'm about to break my leg off, and I really don't want to break that leg off. Uh, yeah. Let us know. What would you do with this sculpture? Well, that one definitely didn't go as planned. I envisioned this cool, like... Uh, gallery effect like the <laughs> yeah. like the anthill just didn't happen no. uh, it was just unfortunate that the resin didn't cure properly um, but I think we got a cool piece in the end yeah it's not too bad yeah I, yeah. Th I think it's all right now I am thinking about revisiting this one and there's one thing I want to try and that is to let my resin heat up a lot before it goes oh, in okay and you also had a good idea as well hey yeah I was thinking about the arc Using uh, arc. Yeah, the arc resin. Yeah. That's the composite resin because that one cures in about 20 minutes, yeah. half hour or so. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, let us know what you guys think. If you want us to revisit it or if you have any suggestions, let us know. But we really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.